Hi and welcome to your Volkswagen ID4 Life Pure. To get the best experience from your new electric vehicle, here's a short five step guide to get you on your way. Your Volkswagen ID4 Life Pure comes with a real world range of 175 miles and a battery size of 52 kilowatt hours and it can DC rapid charge up to 118 kilowatts. If storage is important to you, the ID4 has a boot capacity of 543 litres and with the seats down, 1,575 litres. Every electric car is very different and there's no exception with the Volkswagen ID4. Let's get you round the basics and on the road. Accessing your ID4 is effortless. Your pocket sized key fob will allow you to access either remotely or keyless entry. As long as the key is on your person, you can open your doors just by lifting the handle. But if that's not for you, you can always use the buttons on the remote key fob instead. In the cabin, it will feel very familiar. Before we get on to step two, let's get you comfy in the cabin first. To find your desired position in your seat, you can use this lever here to move the seat forward and backwards. On the side of your seat you have a lever to adjust the height of your chair and the wheel on the side to adjust your back support. Once you've reached your desired position in the seat you can adjust your steering wheel. This can be done using the lever underneath the steering column and you can move the steering wheel freely up down towards you or further away. To get the right temperature in the cabin you can use the climate function here which will give you full control on the screen to change your temperature. You can change your fan speed and your temperature using these haptic sliders. You can also switch on your heated steering wheel and also your heated front seats. Next let's have a look at the controls behind the steering wheel. Before we talk about the left and right stalk. Let's head to the right of the steering column where you can find your headlight, fog light and your front and rear heated windscreen settings. On your stalk on the left you have your controls for your main beam and your left and right indicator. On your stalk on the right you will have controls for your front and rear windscreen wipers. Next let's head over to your driver's display. In the centre is your speedo which in this case is 0 miles per hour. Underneath that you have your battery percentage which is 75% and also you'll remain in range on the vehicle. To the right of that, you have your satellite navigation, which will activate once you set a destination. Then on the far right of your screen, you have your gear indicator, which is D for drive, B to add some regenerative braking, and R for reverse and N for neutral. And to the right of your driver's display, you have your gear selector, but more on that later. Now you're familiar with the cabin, let's get you onto step two. Let's show you how to start your Volkswagen ID4 and get you on the road. With no power buttons in sight, starting your ID4 is effortless. Just hit the brake pedal and your car will come to life. Both your infotainment screen and your driver's display will be ready to go in seconds. You're now ready to drive your car, so let's head over to step three. Your Volkswagen ID4 has an automatic transmission. So let's show you how to get into gear and get you on your way. Your gear selector is conveniently located by the driver's display, so no need to look down. On the gear selector you've got a choice of which is D for drive, B to add some regenerative braking and R for reverse and N for neutral. On the top of the gear lever is the P for park. Selecting the reverse gear will automatically activate your rear camera. Whilst driving the car you may wish to use the cruise control function. This can be activated by hitting the cruise control button on the top right of the left pad on your steering wheel and then using the set button to activate. Use the plus and the minus to increase and decrease your speed. So let's have a look at step 4. We live a very connected lifestyle and we can do that in the car as well. So let's have a look at the Volkswagen ID4's multimedia system. First of all, let's get your smartphone connected to the car. On your infotainment display, on the right hand side, you will have some tile buttons. Select those to bring up the options. We're going to now look at App Connect. In the App Connect option, in the bottom left corner, you have settings. We're going to hit that cog and go into the settings menu. Please then select mobile devices. 
and then at the bottom of the screen the car will actively look for new devices. Please make sure on your smartphone you have Bluetooth switched on. On your smartphone you should be able to see the car which is marked My Volkswagen 3698. Please select that option and when prompted to pair with the car. You will also be asked if you'd like the car to access your contacts and then finally if you'd like to activate Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You are now connected to the car and you can make audio calls, play music and use your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay functionality. Your Volkswagen ID4 also has built-in satellite navigation which is great for route planning and also finding charges and points of interest. Your ID4 will also be able to work out if you need to stop to charge on your route and where to stop for your charge. While staying connected with the car, you can also charge your smartphone on this wireless charger pad. This can be found in between the front and passenger seat. And that completes step four, and that ties us nicely into the final step, which is how to charge your car. So let's review the three different ways we can charge your Volkswagen ID4. All the charging happens in one place, which is on the driver's side rear of the car. Unlocking the charge port can be done by unlocking the car. Press firmly on the charge door to open it. On opening, you'll see the charge port. The visible top half is for your AC charging. Remove the bung at the bottom will allow you to plug in a DC rapid charger. Let's discuss your charging options. There are three ways you can charge your Volkswagen ID4. The first is a domestic three pin type two connector. This is the slowest option and will charge up to two and a half kilowatts. This charging cable doesn't come with your subscription, but you can add it for a small charge. The more conventional way is a fast charge using a type two to type two connector, which will charge up to seven kilowatts on your Volkswagen ID4. This cable comes as standard with your subscription. Your third and final option is a rapid DC charger. This uses a much larger connector than the two previously discussed. DC rapid chargers can normally be found alongside A and B roads and motorway services. Now we've discussed each of the three charger types, let's see how we plug them into your electric car. To access the charge port on your Volkswagen ID4, press firmly on the charger port door to open. If your AC charging, take your type two to type two connector and plug it into the AC port on your charge port. But don't forget to allow at least 30 seconds for your car to communicate with the charger. To monitor your charging, jump into your ID4 and look at the infotainment screen. On your screen, you'll see how many miles you have remaining, what percentage the battery is at, which in this case is 58%, how many kilowatts you're charging at, and also how long and the time of when the charge is due to finish. To finish your charge, you can either hit the stop charging button or you can simply unlock the vehicle. At this point, you'll also be able to unplug your charging cable. The fastest charging, which is DC rapid charging, can be done in the same way as AC charging. You will need to remove the protective bung at the bottom of the charging port to allow additional space for the much larger DC rapid charger connector. To finish your DC rapid charge, you will need to hit stop on the DC charger unit first before you can unplug the connector. You are now set to go and you should have everything in your toolkit to drive your electric car.